Okay, hey guys, welcome to uh, another video. Uh, this video is going to be a quick video because most of you told me that my videos are getting slightly too long. So this one's just going to be quick on how to use sine to find the area of a triangle. So um, what we need to do is uh, first let's write down, you know, a triangle. The formula is half AB sine C. Okay. And so um, that, that's the formula you need to learn. Um, they do give this formula in the, uh, in the exam paper on the formula sheet. So you will get this. So all you need to do is, um, you know, uh, uh, fill it in. So let's just uh, say we have, let me just uh, get a triangle up here. Um, so guys, we have, a, we have a bit of a question here. So we have a triangle and the question is to find the area of the triangle. And so we, we don't know the height, so we can't do the half times, uh, you know, the normal way you work out the triangle. So we need to use the half AB sine C method, which they give to you. So let's just, um, you know, let's, let's start off here. Half times by A. So what's A? So as I said in the previous videos, you're opposite to your angle A. So angle A, the opposite is A. And the opposite of B is little b side, side B. And the opposite of C is side C. So now we have this, let's do this again. Half times by A, which we know is now 5 centimeters, times by B, which is 7 centimeters, times by sine, times by sine C, which is this one, so we have 38 degrees. Now let's just simply slot this into your calculator and you'll get the answer. And you know, it's that easy, so we're going to get 10.8, but the, the catch here is they want you to get it to three significant figures, and that's where you would lose a mark, so you just do it to uh, significant to two, to two three significant figures if they tell you, and actually I've made a mistake myself, you need to do um, the unit, so squared, 10.8 centimeters squared is the area of this triangle, um, so that's it, you just need to fill it up into this uh, into this formula. You could w remind the video and see how I did it again. Uh, if you have any questions, post a comment. Um, also, I'm going to do a very difficult question now. Uh, so we have a, a tough question here. Um, as you can see, we've been given a triangle and it's been labelled and it has three sides but no angles. And they asked to work out the area. So we know that the formula we need to use is half AB sorry, half AB sine C. Now we don't have an angle which we can use to use this formula so what we need to do is first we see we've got three sides so we need to acknowledge that we need to use the cosine rule and so we need to find sine c so we need to rearrange the formula to give us uh, to give us the cos c okay so um uh, let me just rearrange it and write it here cos of c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2ab. Okay, so once we have this, what we need to do is, what we need to do is work out the, the angle here, which is, we can write x. Okay, so what we need to do is fill it in. Let's fill it in. <clears throat> First, let's label our sides. So this is going to be a, this is going to be b, and this is going to be c. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, this is going to equal to, so cos of c, is going to equal to a squared which is 13 squared plus b squared which is 19 squared uh, minus c squared which is 8 squared all over 2 times by a 13 times by b which is 19 okay so if we just slot that into our calculator we will get uh, cos of c equals 0 0.9433 and the inverse of that we're going to get um, angle C is going to be 19.4 degrees so that's the that's the inverse of cos so the cos inverse of this equals 19.4 now we know this angle is 19.4 now we can apply the half AB sine C rule to get the area of the triangle Okay, so let me just uh, quickly change pen here. Um, so we know half AB sine C, so let's just go straight into it. 
half. Oh, sorry about that. Half times by A, which is 13, times by B, which is 19, times by sine of C, which we know is 19.4 degrees. Now, if we put this into our calculator, we should get 41.0 centimeters squared to three significant figures. And we have worked the area out with the question where there was no uh, no angle, so we had to use the cosine rule to find out the angle, and then we simply uh, put the figures into the the half AB sine C and work out the area, and that's how it is.